Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the manufacturing facility of Merrick Machine Company located here now in Nebraska. Today what we have for you, this is a Nexus steel table. It's real similar to uh, what some of you customers have already seen. It's our, it's our steel table that we came up with and developed. But we've done a little bit more because you can actually do uh, balloon walls and rake walls with this thing. We've got this portion of the table you'll see on your right hand side of the screen. It's actually going to pop right down here shortly. Uh, and then we'll get into the, uh, the pivoting in for the rake wall and so forth. Uh, the Gen 2 table itself has got uh, two main dolly rails, one on each side, and there's also one on the balloon wall side. So you can actually screw off your steel studs into your, into your channel, your top and bottom plates. You've got cast iron uh, stud locators, located 16 and 24 inch on center. They're color coded. You've got pop-up skate wheel rollers, center support bar, and so forth. Bill, you want to pop down the side over there real quick? If you're going to do a balloon wall or a rake wall, that side actually comes down. That whole scoring lip runs the full length from this side to that side. You can actually have a dolly sitting down on this end or that end out of the way uh, as this pops down. Now you can take your long studs, line them up here, and so forth as you get to the other side. And we'll get into that here in just a minute. Go ahead and pop that back up, Billy. Thank you, sir. Everything here is actually controlled. Uh, you got air logic running. There's a computer managing all the traffic that goes on there. Uh, you've actually got uh, the pop-up rollers. There's a rack and pinion gear system. Uh, the rack and pinion keeps the tabletop. This is the adjustable side. It runs in and out. And the, there's a blower pipe on there that blows all the debris out of the rack and pinion to make sure it stays straight and square. Go ahead and run, Bill. You can run it in and out. It's got a ramp up and a ramp down speed. So it starts out initially slower, and then it picks up speed. And then, likewise, if you're going to go the opposite direction, you're going to bring the tabletop and the adjustable side in. Starts out slow, and then it ramps up the speed and goes faster. It's about 27% uh, faster than our older tables. So ask your sales guy about that. We've also got some uh, scoring stops on here. We've got our standard scoring stops that are adjustable. They're more of a manual configuration. Go ahead, Bill. Or you can actually install servos, one on the, the right side as you see in the screen and one on the left side. Servos just can run back and forth. We've got a podium screen over here on your right hand side. You just dial in how far your offset's going to be, how you want to start your wall, set your stops, and they both adjust. Now you guys can keep going. So one guy can set this instead of having tape measure over here. The guy runs over, gets another tape measure over here and tries to figure it all out. Uh, let the servos do the job for you. Other things we have for you guys, uh, this surface here that I'm walking on, everything here, this is a, uh, this is a non-mar. It's got uh, sand on it. We painted on top here so it's a good surface. You get great traction on it. Uh, a nice, unique feature. We're going to go ahead and run down here. I'm going to show you some other unique things on here. Center support bar is standard. You can actually adjust this, move it in, move it out. We're going to make tables, guys, anywhere from 12 feet long all the way out to 80 feet long. Typically, we're getting about 32, 36 seems to be what the norm the industry buys. We can also go pretty far out here, guys. We can go up to 22 feet. You want to come all the way down to 6'9 to 22 feet, uh, 3 inches, we can do that. Talk to your sales guy. He can accommodate you on that side of the world. I've got controls on my end where I'm standing down here. and the opposite end, there's also controls around the table as well. Push button controls for the, for the operator. Uh, the dollies run. Go ahead and run that dolly back this way, Billy. Runs nice and smooth on V-Groove wheels. It's a great little system. See your other videos on the screw dollies themselves and uh, how they operate, how they function. But in a nutshell, you're coming down. You've got your, uh, your steel studs coming this way, your top and bottom plate, your track. And we're actually coming in, we're screwing top and bottom at the same time. There's also other videos out there that actually show the, uh, uh, we've got a, a bracket here. It's a cast iron bracket that actually holds the channel on both sides for your top and bottom plate and it gets out of the way. Uh, that's real important because you may have to put a screw exactly where we're actually trying to hold that channel for you guys. Next thing we have for you, this is the, uh, the rake wall, balloon wall side. Go ahead and pop that down, Billy. This, this side is also adjustable. You got a center support bar. You can move it back and forth. There's a couple different positions, like three of them. And then uh, for this side here, it's also powered. So I can actually take this on the right hand side of my hand here, take this whole assembly and move it straight forward, depending on how, how tall your wall is. Uh, this is a pivot end, so if you're going to do balloon walls, 
This side here will also pivot left and right, depending on what your pitch that you're trying to match up for your roof. Okay, Bill, go ahead and drop that. There you go. So, why do we just drop this squaring lip down? If we're gonna do the balloon wall, you know, three degrees, you want a 12-12 pitch, whatever that may be, <clears throat> these have to get out of the way because this is gonna turn at an angle. And these black pins here, they actually represent your scoring stops. You're gonna preset those in advance, line them up with your, uh, your color-coded flippers that we had on the opposite side of the table, line all that up and go ahead and screw those off. Nice and easy, real simple, go ahead and pop it up, Billy. If you're just doing balloon walls, for example, you're gonna take your screw doll, you're gonna run right along, nail everything off. You've got the same dolly rail system, and you've got a park station on the far end. Once this thing pops down, it's always out of the way. You've also got a center support uh, skate wheel, uh, as well as on the rest of the table. So when your balloon wall all gets done, we're gonna pop it up with the skate wheel so you guys can get it off the table, go on to your next one. Move along, keep production rolling for yourselves. If you got any questions, call the factory at 1-800-568-7423 or go look us up online at triagemachines.com. Thank you.